Hello again. I've been in great demand lately among people educating their children at home during the lockdown. Um, I have an awful lot of dealings in the world of home education. Um, the thing is, I suppose I'm something of a figure on the scene because I've been involved in it for so many years. I've written a book on the subject, Elective Home Education in the United Kingdom. I've given evidence to the Education Select Committee about it. And of course, I've been interviewed quite a lot on the radio, television and newspapers and so on. I've written stuff myself for the papers on about home education too. I provide links to a few of these things in the description to this video. If all this sounds like boasting, it's not really. It's just that I'm fantastically keen on home education or homeschooling, as they call it in America. I've always felt that from a purely educational point of view, the one-to-one -one tuition that can be given in a relaxed domestic setting with no distractions it's infinitely more effective than trying to deal with 30 youngsters, at least half a dozen of whom are likely to be troublesome blockheads who are determined to stop the others in the class from learning anything at all. There's no time wasted moving from class to class, no need to keep order, no curriculum to follow. The actual amount of time spent teaching in schools as opposed to controlling the pupils is very low, but uh, at home every second of an hour may be devoted to the subject in hand. From an educational perspective, my daughter's education was an absolutely outstanding success. I taught her to read before she was two, and in addition to all the usual academic subjects, I was able to teach her to ride a horse, use a sword, act, and play three musical instruments. It was all really great fun. Were there any disadvantages? Well, of course there were. These weren't educational, though. Although she attended Sunday school and church, belonged to the girls' brigade and went to various clubs, maintaining a social life for a child who is not at school is very hard work and never entirely successful. At school, socialisation occurs naturally without the parents having to make any particular efforts. Under such circumstances, children tend to make friends without any difficulty. Of course, this too has its disadvantages. A lot of parents complain about things like the language which their kids pick up from other children at school, uh, saying nothing of other habits that they acquire. Any type of education has advantages and disadvantages, whether you choose to send your child to school or do the job yourself. Um, there's no perfect form of education. Speaking for myself, I gained a great deal of pleasure from my child's company as she was growing up, and I wouldn't have missed a single second of it. I've never really trusted anybody to do things in any case. I always feel I know better, but then regular viewers probably know that I'm a bit of a know-it-all anyway.